Communication succeeds when you use the right words. It can lead them to the right direction. It is very important to use correct words to transfer original message, God's grace. Jesus was completely capable because God talked via him. To convince people about God's words is very important. Jesus used a lot of examples to make people understand God and his grace and his aim with the creation. When you meet a person who will stay against you, you feel troubled. But with God and Jesus and Holy Spirit, you can find an intelligent way to fight lies and talk about the truth. Don't give up. If you are not in high level to come with sweet words, bring examples to make people understand. Some people are not capable or have enough education to jump into discussion. If they deny this and continue to use words, they replace something else than truth. A Christian is a messenger, either you have high education or not. Because you have read the Bible and you have knowledge about God and His grace. 2 Corinthians 5 part 20 When we speak to people on behalf of Jesus, it is God who speaks via you. Because Jesus lives in us and we in Him, what good we do is Christ's actions. We must be aware of Satan and his demons in this world who are in work to divide us from the God and Jesus. Therefore, we must acknowledge God, acknowledge God in anything we do to be protected by Holy Spirit. Be aware that we have duties in this world as the same way that when you move to other countries, you transfer the messages from your country to that place you live. It is the same way. We are sent from another world to this world to complete the God's will. We must try to talk about God's messages in cleverly so that it success, happiness, and progress. Jesus' love is like a river. When the road is small, the velocity of the river is rapider than when the road is wider. Therefore, Jesus' love becomes stronger when our path becomes smaller. Curtin 5, part 15 Jesus died and everybody died spiritually. Jesus rose from the dead and gave everybody a spiritual life. Those who are not with Jesus have an spiritual life and don't get eternal life after their death. When you are with Jesus and enjoy the life, then let others experience it. If they don't accept and will be harmful, let them be. When you are baptized, then you are reborn and everything is new and beautiful. During your life, you must keep it clean and beautiful. Your sins keep you in the grave, but Jesus rose and you, Jesus believer, rose too. Your sins are left in the grave. Those who accept Jesus has, have eternal life, but those who deny Jesus are dead. God puts all Jesus' revelation on us to save us and bring us to his kingdom. During this life on the earth, we are Jesus' apostles and repeat Jesus' messages, which are true life.